Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a let's check out all the palettes that we already own going into fall so you know what you have or it jogs your memory of something that you already have. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So as far as what I have on for primer, I have a combination today. Went ahead and used the Hard Candy uh, Glow Serum Primer and the Glow Oil by Supergoop with the SPF 50. So this is what I have on as far as my primers. Oh, and I have one other one. Jeez, I have three on today. And then I use the Power Grip Primer by Elf. And this is one that has a skincare in it. And so, yeah, I actually think it's a different formula than the blue one. It's just a little bit different. A little bit, I think it grips a little bit better. So, um, other than that, let's see. I did go ahead and put on the House Labs uh, Triclone Foundation. I have mine in Fair Cool, which is shade 50. And um, let's see, what else did I do today? Um, I did go ahead and use the She Glam Bronzer. This is the one in mor or Morning Beam. And so this is the lightest of their bronzers, and that's what I have on there. And She Glam, you can get on the Sheen website. And then um, I did go ahead and use the Undone Beauty, uh, their Sunset Bronzer. And so Undone Beauty is available over at Ulta. Um, you can order, you have to order it online. I don't think it's in stores. But yeah, this is what I went ahead and used. I used these two for my blush. And then I topped with these two sparkly shades. So that's what I have on there. And... Uh, yeah, let's go to lips next. So um, I did go ahead and use uh, Brink by ColourPop. And this is one of their uh, lip liners. And then I also did go ahead and use a lippy stick, which is um, Twilight. So these, here, these are the two colors that I have on there. And then I did go ahead and use a So Glassy Lip Gloss. So all three of these are from ColourPop. And yeah, this is the look. Pretty. Like it. And I'm really liking the lip liners. I hadn't really been using lip liners. And uh, now uh, to keep my lipstick from going up here and down there, they're working pretty well. And uh, let's see, as far as what I have on my face today, and I have a lot of palettes in front of me. So let's see. If I can find it. Um, I have the Sage All Day by ColourPop. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. Found it. Yeah, that's a lot of palettes. So it's a Sage All Day. And this one would be great for fall. It's uh, what I have on today. Went ahead and used this one, which actually, it um, it's a duochrome. And it really comes out... A light minty green but it looks pink in the pan and then I went ahead and used this on the inner corner um, I went ahead and used uh, this on the outer corner and then this one right in the crease and I used some of this in the crease as well so that's what I have on today and this is the way that the eye look turned out so that's the way that that turned out. Um, I did go ahead and use the NYX Thick It Stick It in Coolash Brown. And also the, uh, let's see, Sky High Mascara in the Cosmic Black. And moving on to palettes that you may already have and you might want to go ahead and bring out for fall. Uh, starting with Revolution, the Ultimate Nudes in Light. Yeah, this is the light one. Um, these are available over at Walmart and um, I think at Target as well. And so I'm really liking this one that I got. Uh, the Desert Lights palette, I think it's a classic. It's from Flower Beauty and it's just absolutely gorgeous and a gorgeous formula and very, very, very shiny. Uh, let's see what else I have here. Uh, new palette to me, the Sin City palette from Essence. 
and uh, this this particular formula, this small shimmer palette, is uh, wonderful. I think that it would go really well into fall. And if you're looking for a couple of reds and raspberries, this uh, yeah, this is a good palette for it. And this one's available over at Ulta. Um, another Revolution palette. And this one is Reloaded and Provocative. And uh, these Reloaded palettes by Revolution are supposed to have a really good formula in them. Uh, let's see what else I have. I have Undone Beauty. This is the 710 Bear palette. And actually, um, I haven't done a video with this yet, but it just says sort of fall to me as far as the color story. And um, Earthy by Beauty Bay, another great palette. Um, this is their 9-pan palette. They have uh, this color scheme in 9-pan, 16-pan, and 42-pan. Uh, and so this is the 9-pan one. Works really well. And I really like that one. Oh, ColourPop, here we go. Lust for a Desk. This is a great one that you can get over at Ulta. And just beautiful palette. Uh, works really well for fall. Has a lot of orangey colors in it and raspberries and some grays. And it's just really pretty palette. Uh, let's see. Ran out of space here. Give me one moment. Get everything reorganized. Okay. So um, another Play It Cool by ColourPop. Really pretty, um, has a lot of, uh, let's see, I would say that these are more like brown with red in them sort of tones. I mean, it's supposed to be like Red Rocks kind of style before the Rock On palette. So um, yeah, definitely this one would be good. Uh, the Set and Stone palette, which I consider pretty much a basic palette by ColourPop. But it, it works really well. And, you know, for um, a brown look with uh, gold, which is an absolute classic, it's an absolutely beautiful palette to go ahead and do that with. So, yeah, basic but beautiful. How's that? Twist of Slate. Again, another Tin Pan uh, ColourPop one. And this is... Um, yeah, this one is going more toward the grays and um, really pretty neutral looks. So, yeah, really pretty there. So, again, if you have them, bring them out and use them. Fresh Greens by ColourPop. This is one of the ones that is over at Target or at the ColourPop website. Good palette right there. Oh, this one. Oh, Daydreaming. This is about Daydreaming in Paris. And this is a brand new palette over at Target and on the ColourPop website. Really pretty, gray, smoky looks, and just absolutely gorgeous. And let's see. Uh, Peach Out. Peach Out. Um, again, another ColourPop one. And this one is available over at Target. And it's really, really pretty. Oh, and they all slid, but nothing fell. <laughs> Yay. Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. If you have it, definitely go ahead and use it. It has uh, some browns, some peaches, and some grays in there. Really, really pretty. Hmm. And uh, let's see here. Okay. So, uh, moving out of the more earthy palettes and just some different ones. Uh, Gather Round Sisters. Classic palette. I wish they would bring it back. And this is the ColourPop palette. Uh, not available at this point, but who knows. Um, this is the Enchanted palette by ColourPop. And um, beautiful palette. It has some rose golds and some purples in it and just really pretty. Very, very pretty. It can actually do a really nice neutral look. And I just really, when I looked at it, I thought, you know, purple. But you can do some pretty uh, rose gold leaning neutral looks with this one. It's really pretty. 
and um, oh, classic, just classic when it was made, the Troublemaker palette. Uh, this came out last year. I think it's still available. And um, it has burgundies and some grays in it and some roses. It's really pretty, pretty, pretty palette. One that I don't think is available anymore. Well, it might be. I haven't been on the BH Cosmetics website in a long time. But if you see it like in TJ Maxx or anything, pick this one up. Love in London. It's a really good, really good palette. A lot of smoky, smoky, smoky. Um, so, you know, you have uh, burgundy and uh, bronzes and taupes, but everything is a lot darker than, um, than a normal palette. Not a normal palette, but anyway, really good formula, really good colors in this one. <clears throat> Aurora Struck by Colourpop. Wonderful palette. And it'll go deep and dark um, as far as your purples, your blues, and your greens. And has some silvers in there and a couple of pinks and roses. So, yeah, really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, that's, I think, everything that I have. Um, as far as what caught my eye, as far as, oh, one more. I almost forgot this one. And that wouldn't be good at all because this is their ColourPop's new makeup palette. It's the Smoking Hot palette. Yeah. yeah. I have one shade here that it keeps on wanting to go traveling on its own. So. Um, this is a Smoking Hot Makeup Palette uh, by ColourPop, and uh, this one, again, will go wonderfully into fall with all of the uh, fall colors and the oranges and the peaches and the browns and the...